No, things are going great. I mean, steady job. It pays the bills. It's not really fulfilling per se, but I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is. On the side, I try to do what makes me happy, what little bit I got left of that. It's not really taking me anywhere right now, but it, it's something, right? Or I'll find a good opportunity and be able to take that forward, make something of my life, maybe find someone in the process, and who knows, maybe there's still uh, still hope here. Maybe life's going to go in the right direction, you know? The despair. We won't call it quits. We'll call it the start. What's up with the morning to you, laddie? Today we have the Banshees of Anna Sharon. I, I, I really contemplated doing the whole review in, a, in a, a shitty Irish accent. I am predominantly Irish, but the best I can muster up in this regard would be just be like, Oh, we're gonna go over to the, to the movie theater and go see a film or two. But yes, we have the 2022 release. The Banshees of Inna Sharon, which surprisingly enough, uh, more people than I thought, it, both in my movie friend group and beyond, have heard about this. I didn't realize it's actually getting a fairly decent national release. But then again, it's got a couple like fairly big names. But anyway, Banshees of Inna Sharon is the newest film by director Martin McDonough, who, if you didn't know, I mean, he's done many films before but i suppose one of my more recent favorites to bring up this man also directed three billboards outside ebbing missouri i brought this film up before on numerous occasions it's really good i really enjoy it so i'm always going to bring it up but also another film that i am kicking myself because i've been meaning to watch this film for years but he also did in bruges which or bruges i think it's in bruges but again the two stars of this film were the two stars in that film so they got experience they're all done stuff together so if you don't know banshees of Inisharan sharon is about two guys that are like friends on this island household name colin farrell oh colin farrell if you if you don't know him I, 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 come on but we also have brendan gleason who is the other friend who again imdb list is a mile long but fun fact this guy was mad eye moody so mad eye moody from the harry potter film so you have old brandon gleason here opposite colin farrell and they're in this movie together as two friends on an island called in a sharon one day colin farrell goes down to the pub to have a drink with brandon gleason and all of a sudden he tries to sit next to his friend and the guy's just like i don't i'm i don't want you to sit go go sit somewhere else we're not friends anymore and Colin's just bewildered. So the whole movie is him trying to figure out why his friend doesn't want to be friends anymore. The trailer's good. The concept is interesting. I was down to clown with the film. And the film executes it pretty well, I think. Not perfectly, but pretty well. I think the film is more of a series of metaphors and allegories for just kind of human beings, social nature, and I think at one point somebody went as far as to say that the film is a metaphor for social media. I don't know if I would go that far per se, but it does show you, I mean, they even pointed out this island is a very contained thing. Everybody knows everybody. Spitefulness, bitterness, there's pockets, fermenting pockets of anger and frustration and just, you know, people trying to make something of their lives and also just peeping in on other people's lives it's you know the guy's like i don't want to be friends anymore and the whole town is like well why not even the priest who preaches on the island is like eh, it's not a sin but it's not very nice of you everybody's just like why can't you be friends and colin the whole time again and again is like you know i'm not standing for this clearly this is a joke and the guy's like look if you don't stop talking to me i'm gonna start cutting off fingers until you do and just it's really interesting obviously want to vote for colin's character who by the way is a permanent expression of like what the whole film just what what's going on like he feels so bad for him he's just a, i like how colin can go from like grimy sleazy greaseball underworld villain to being like oh no i just 
you know, I'm nice, I'm a nice guy, I don't understand why he doesn't want to be friends anymore. I like how it shows what seems to be a very simple decision for one person has a lot of ripple effects, not only for his friend who now is like spiraling mentally, like he, his character and demeanor to everybody around him changes because he's just like, what did I do wrong? And the guy's like, you didn't do anything wrong. I just don't like you. I think you're dull, you're simple. You're, you know, basically calling the guy like, like unimaginative, stupid, uncreative. And can you imagine what headspace that would put you in if a guy you've been friends with for who knows how long is like, you know what, I don't like you. I think you're, you're pretty, you're pretty dull. Not even like, not even saying that he has anything against him. That's the worst part. He's just like, no, your fundamental core character is just not good. I don't know about you, but that would fuck me up. Like I lost a close friend recently, not to death, but to lack of an action and also certain decisions on his part. While that was kind of building up for a while, it all kind of happened like that. And then I made the decision to kind of just move on from the situation. Still hurt. Because I got all those years, right, that you got of building a relationship with that person, rapport and character, and then boom, you're like, man, this person just did something that really was not great, and I thought we were closer than that. I thought they would have handled the situation differently. And then it has you thinking like, oh my god, this person has kind of always done things a certain way that's never quite been matching up to what you've been putting out. So in that context, I can kind of relate to like, how Colin Farrell's character is feeling in this feeling in this film. Like a person you thought you were friends with is actually not quite the person that you have had in your head. You feel for the character who is changing. Like he's not really a bad guy. He's getting to a point in his life where he's realizing he's in his twilight years, that his life is kind of coming to an end and he's got to come to terms with how he's spending his time, what he's doing, who he's hanging out with. And by trying to take action for his self-care and for his mental health and his life and legacy and what might what what he might leave behind, the decisions that he's making are affecting people around him. So it's, it's an interesting dynamic this film it kind of attempts to explore. I think it's, you know, visually it's nothing like incredible. I mean, it's it, Ireland, I mean, this Irish island is pretty and all that and there's some like nice shots direction is solid if not pretty just simple it's really where this film shines is definitely the I mean it's funny it's a very dark comedy but this film shines in its actors its performances and in the script I think it's very well written pretty much all the humor lands you feel for the characters you're very intrigued by characters motivations and how it's gonna pan out and as the film progresses to act two and three you start wondering like man how is the hell is this gonna end like nothing gets too crazy but there's decisions that are definitely made that are not your typical day-to-day -day, oh I'm a normal human being I'll just do this you're like whoa why what is this guy thinking why are we doing this so it really it doesn't go off the rails but you're just like oh okay that was a choice <laughs> I do and don't like how it ended I think it kind of comes full circle in a way if you watch the movie you'll know what I mean I guess like narratively, thematically, it all it all kind of comes around. There's definitely character arcs, and I like that. Everybody kind of, you know, not everybody is the same as when they started out in this film, especially our protagonist. Everybody changes to one degree or another. But at the same time, it's interesting because as these men are kind of changing on screen, they can't help but still have sympathy and empathy and still be holding on to these parts of them that they're trying to let go of and they're trying to move on from. And I like that. Again, another very human film, I use that term, it's a very human design. But in that, you know, I know that I've tried, like, there have been times where I feel like, oh, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna do this or do that, I'm gonna stop doing this, I'm gonna change this habit. And yet still, inside, I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck it, come here. Like, I'll just, it's really hard to shake who we are fundamentally and who we are, especially if we're empathetic or sympathetic. So the film addresses that and shows these characters like trying to act off of each other's choices and decisions, but still falling back on some other, on some certain laurels. Banshees of Inisherin. Is it my favorite of Martin McDonald's work? No, but it's actually a good film, and I, the critics definitely agreed on, on that one. I think it's good. I think it's even potentially a really good film. Just It's just a comedic, dialogue-heavy, dark comedy drama set back in 1920s, where one decision can unintentionally lead to certain consequences. And I think it's worth a watch. It was fun. It was funny. I enjoyed myself. I didn't love it, but I, I liked it. I'd say I, I liked it, maybe really liked it, but I can't deny that as a film, it mostly accomplishes what it's set up to do. 
on my personal enjoyment. I would watch it again. I thought it, I thought it was good. I thought it was good in spots. I thought it was really good, but overall, just a solid, well done film. Give it a four out of five. I got another four out of five here. I don't. I have very little to complain about with this film. I, good job. But thank you guys and gals so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode of whatever movie I review, and goodbye, travelers.